Hey guys, welcome back. It is another beautiful day. I've got so many errands to run, but I need to just take a little break and head down to the river here. It's still really muddy, it's still really high. Wish me luck, and I'll see you on the water. Looks like the water is starting to clear up a little bit. It's still coming over the dam. It's still high. These are the conditions that I actually really like. I know a lot of people come down here and they're like, oh man, it's coming over the dam. I can't fish that. This is ideal for me. And I'm going to show you why. Starting off with this little green pumpkin tube again. As you guys know, I love this thing. This one, first cast. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's off. Well, not bad for a first cast. <laughs> this is why. These conditions are my favorite down here. That, and like nobody comes down here during this time. Hopefully that doesn't change after I post this video. Speaking of which, you guys who are always asking me where my spots are, I love you, but I can't just post it in the comments because then we're going to have 8 million people down here. This one, obviously, a lot of people know, but you know how many people would be mad at me if I was out listing spots? A lot more than will be mad at me for not giving away the spot. This one's obvious. If you know, you know. There's fish. Oh yeah, he thumped it right ashore. Hopped off of that snag and he just ate it. Just a little guy. Pretty little one. Alright, that's the first one that we can count for today. Whoa, something jumped right there. Alright, see ya. So, all I'm doing here is just reeling in the slack with the current and giving it a couple little pops. Oh, I had one. But I'm really not working it very much. I'm letting it drift. Give it a little pop. There it is. Just like that. Oh, that one feels better. Oh yeah, that one feels better. Come here. That's a pretty one. That's a real dark one. Alright, not a hog, but a much prettier fish. Look at that. You're a beaut. Thanks for coming by. So that's two in ten minutes. So if you guys aren't throwing these green pumpkin tubes out here, that's what you got to be doing. I can't tell you, I've made so many videos on this green pumpkin tube. So if you're struggling down here, tie one of those on. So again, just letting it drift, giving it a quick pop there, one. Oh, back to back, guys. Holy cow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Woo! Come here, honey. Pretty fish. Bye, have a great time. So I got a 19 and a half incher yesterday. Let's see if we can beat that today. 20 inches. That's the goal. Just reeling it with the current. Really just reeling in the slack. A couple of quick jigs. There we go. Ooh, that hit like a ton of bricks. Oh, yes. Dude, this day is awesome. Freaking fire, man. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, come here. Woo! It's another decent one. They're all about the same size. This guy's a little bit bigger. But all about the same size so far. What is that, number four? Number four. Be free. This is just like opening day last year. It was like back-to-back -back fish, except for there were guys all lined up along the bank here, all asking me what I was using. I had a brand new camera then, I had a brand new memory card in there. I caught 20 smallies and two nice pike. And by the end of the trip, there was smoke coming out of the camera and I lost all that footage, which was so disheartening. So, 
Hopefully we make up for that today. So far, so good. Here's one. All right, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but the current comes in like this, and this all underneath here is slack water up to that log. I'm trying to cast it right on that line between the current and the slack. Oh, and there it is. Man, I am calling all my shots today. I'm gonna start getting cocky here soon. <laughs> and that's when I'm gonna lose fish. Hey, buddy. Whoop. Nice, that's a good one. Nice. Let me show you guys this with a size comparison. All right, here's the biggest one of the day. So far, we still got a lot of daylight left. Still got a lot of time before I gotta go get the kiddos. There he is, right at shore. <laughs> Whew. There we go. I'm not sure what we're on now. Seven? Are you lucky number seven, sir? There he goes. Now I'm gonna start working my way out to deeper waters. I don't know if it's a real thing or not, but I like to try to fish up close to me first. There's one. So I don't scare away the fish as I bring in the fish that are further out. Is that a walleye? I think that's a walleye. Yeah, nice. First walleye of the day. That's a keeper size. <laughs> Just, maybe. Very close, but that's cool. Not keeping today though, so never keep out of this section of the river anyway. All right, bye bud. <laughs> Neat. There he is, got him. Oh yeah, this might be him, let's see. Nah, close. Nope. <laughs> All right, I don't know what number we're on. What is that, eight? Seven, eight, nine, I don't know. All right, thanks for coming by. It's beautiful. There's something cruising around eating in there. There you go. Guys, this is like rapid fire. Woo! Yesterday when we were down here, we passed a whole bunch of guys that were like, oh man, I only caught one fish, or I didn't catch any fish. It's too high, it's too muddy. That's in the bottom of his lips, so I gotta grab him. But I'm telling you, there's a way to do it, and this is the way to do it. Whoa! Whee! I'm soaked. Told you, once I get cocky, bad things happen. But I'm telling you, this little green pumpkin tube, it doesn't matter what brand you use. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I think these are Zoom. And you're just reeling it with the current. Letting it drift, giving it a little pop. Oh, and there's a fish. He's a tiny one. Probably fought hardest of anybody. <laughs> Smallest one of the day. But with the biggest heart. Drift, pop, set. There we go. Oh man, I lost him. Well, I'm telling you, if you guys don't try this, or I mean, if you do try this, and you're using this kind of bait, using this technique in these kinds of conditions and you're not catching fish I'll quit YouTube <laughs> I have that much confidence in this and the proof is right here right there all right very cool I don't know what number we're on they don't seem to be getting any bigger though I know there's some big ones in here though Long way, friend. <laughs> you dingus. Now, I'm not saying there's sometimes where the bite isn't off completely and there's nothing you can do about it. I know that happens, obviously, or I catch fish every time. Ah, poop. But give this a try, guys, especially if you're local and you know this spot and you're concerned when it gets super high and you're like, ah, I won't catch anything. Water's too brown. It's moving too fast. Here's your proof. That does not matter, and sometimes it's even better. There we go. Woo! I gotcha. Just like that. There she goes. All right, I'm gonna try to get one more, and then I gotta do a grocery shop before I get the kids off the bus. 
There we go. Oh, there he goes. Alright, that was really quick. Oh, he got off. He doesn't count. One more landed. That's what I meant. Wow, there we go. He hit that like a ton of bricks. Oh, here we go. Check this out. This guy is one of those blotchy bass. He's got that blotchy bass syndrome, as it is known. That's actually what it's called. Blotchy bass syndrome. There's a whole study on it. And uh, I, I did a little tournament where they were trying to gather information for this. If you guys want to check that out, I'm going to leave it up in the corner. Blotchy bass. That's a neat one. What do you think? Good one to end it on or should we do one more? Not sure how many we've caught today. Probably what, 15? Close to 20? All on the same lure. Same technique. There's one. There we go. Some beautiful colors on that one. That black belly. Nice browns. Some battle wounds. It's a nice one. See ya, friend. One more, for real. For real this time. I mean it this time. I gotta go grocery shopping and we're all gonna starve to death. It is really hard to lead when they're biting like this, you know? But I got responsibilities. There we go. Whoa! What was that about? He took me around that branch, I think. Oh man, he got off. Took me around that branch. One more for real. For real, for real. Like a real catch. There we go. There we go. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for me. I gotta, I gotta be responsible. I gotta let it go. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming along. Ooh. There we go. Oh, tricked you guys. You thought I was leaving. I actually am leaving. This is my last one, and it's a walleye. Nice. Gotta love the toothy fish. Pretty little walleye. All right, I really do gotta get out of here, and I am leaving for real this time. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> no, for real, this is really the last one. I mean it. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it. Okay. Ooh, man, it's beautiful stripes on this little fella. Oh. He's small, but he's a little chunker, though. A little piglet. Okay. <laughs> for real. Alright, bye. Alright. I'm leaving. How many of you thought I was gonna go for another one there? Who's to say I didn't? But I really do gotta move it. I gotta do some grocery shopping. I gotta get dinner going before the kids get off the bus. Because Jules has lacrosse at 5.30. The kids have so much going on, but that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope this helps you catch more fish in the springtime when it's moving fast and it's muddy. Leave this video a like. If you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on the next one.